It is a secret because not a lot of people talk about it. No doctor has ever told me this. No teacher has ever told me this. No parent has ever told me this. To figure that out was actually one of the biggest revelations for me in my whole life. Earlier today, I made a post and I said something like, mind blow warning, your traumas are the ones that are addicted to depression and anxiety. And let me explain to you what that means, because it could cause some confusion. The secret, in fact, is that the traumas you've experienced in your life or that have been passed down to you by your ancestors, by your parents, your parents' parents, and further down the line, those traumas are basically stories. Stories that your mind, your subconscious mind, keeps on replay. And those stories could sound like, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I'm not talented enough, I'll never make it, this is just not meant for me. Those are narratives that have been programmed onto your subconscious hard drive when you were younger or have been passed down by your parents. You might recognize this when you think back to when you were a kid or a teenager and you heard your parents repeat certain sentences over and over again. One of the sentences, for example, in my case was my dad always used to say, no master fell from heaven. No master fell from heaven. And up until recently, I fully bought into that belief that no expert, no master ever just popped up. But little did I know that actually a lot of people are masterful at something without even practicing, without even studying for years. Some people are masters just from source, just from the get-go. They're just gifted with something. And so that was one of the beliefs that I have bought into and that has made me repeat the explanation I gave to things that didn't work out the way that I thought they should. So every time when I didn't get a job, for example, I was like, oh, I'm just not good enough. No master ever fell from ever. I need to get better. I need to work harder. I need to practice more. And that made me depressed. It made me not be happy and grateful with where I was at in this moment in time and who I was at that moment in time. And so these programs that are based on trauma experiences, which as I said before, can be a sentence, it can be an abuse experience on a mental or on a physical level. I've experienced them both. And let me know in the comments if you do too. Have you had any physical or mental abuse in your life? Curious to know if you don't mind sharing. And the trauma relives itself in the moment when an experience that is same or similar to our mind, and then we repeat this story. Our mind repeats this story. And very often we're not even conscious of that. Most of the time we aren't conscious of that. And now having these stories on repeat, having these belief systems so deeply programmed in our mind is what shuts our mind down and allows us to stay stuck in a state of depression, a state of paralysis, a state of anxiety, deep insecurity, deep unhappiness, as if it was who we were meant to be, which is bullshit. We're not meant to be depressed. This is not the story that I subscribed to when I decided to live. I don't wanna live a story and go go into my deathbed, living a life of feeling consistently depressed and being stuck in that. And I've been in depression. I've been in suicidal episodes for years in the past. I know what it feels like to not want to live no longer because depression just took over. I know that feeling. And I also know that the secret that I just shared with you today, the key to move beyond depression and mental disorders lays in the trauma release process and in rewriting that story on a subconscious level. That's where the key lies. And it might not work for everybody. It has worked for me. It has worked for the people that I shared this with. It has worked for the people that I learned this from. There is something to this. 
And because there is something to this, I made the decision to bring forward a new program, which is not new. In fact, it's my first ever program that I've written and hosted back in begin 2020. It's called the Beyond Depression Program. And it's a 12 week program in which I'll be walking you through this process of stabilizing your sanity, of discovering a routine to stay sane and cope like a pro, because we all always have to cope. We're living in this body. We're experiencing the world as it is. We always have to cope. So the first six weeks of the program are learning how to cope properly and become a pro at that. And then the second part of the program, the last six weeks are about deeper trauma release work where I'm going to guide you into your subconscious mind with a very specific formula. You're going to be safe. I'm not going to like weirdly, you know, reality TV style hypnotize you. I can't do that. You're always going to be in your power and you'll be guided through discovering these trauma stories and release them. Let that shit go, like let it go for good. So you'll walk out of that program as a version of you that has grown beyond depression and can continue to do so for the rest of your life and pass that down to the next generation so that they aren't having to replay the depression cycle as your parents maybe have and you maybe have. Now, there's a money back guarantee on the program, because as I said before, I can't 100% ensure that this works for you. I'm pretty sure it will. But because you still decide if it works for you or not, there's a money back guarantee on this Beyond Depression program. That's the secret, my love. Pretty dope, isn't it? For me, when I started discovering that there is an alternative way that worked for me to live a life beyond the depression and the suicidal episodes, when I discovered that, I was so fucking grateful and so excited. And, and I just got married to this journey of, of healing my inner world because now at still a quite young age, I get to live a life that allows me to, to really be happy. And I get to live a life that allows me to thrive into the version of me that I aspire, desire, and wish to be. And that's what I want for you too. I want that for you too, especially since you as I am, most probably you are too, a vegan, and maybe you're a vegan activist. You're one of those trailblazers, you know? You're one of these people that are about to shift the generational patterns from this generation to the next generation when it comes to living more in alignment with nature's laws, with the law of compassion, with the law of caring for one another, and freaking co-creating a vegan world. And I need you to be in your full power. I can't have you stay stuck in depression. I can't have you stay suffering in anxiety. I, the world, the animals need you to step into that next level you that frees itself, that frees yourself from the barriers that depression and anxiety and suicidal episodes, self-destructive, self-judgmental thoughts, all of that, we got to free ourselves from that so that we can operate as a pure vehicle for driving change into the world instead of staying stuck in our own loops of darkness. That's what I'm here to help you with. So I'll leave you with the link to the Beyond Depression program in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions around what I just talked about. If the whole secret has just blown your mind, welcome to the universe. This is what we're doing in here. This is what I'm doing with my clients, with the people I get to work with. I get to blow minds and expand hearts together with the people I work with. And you're welcome in that world. You're welcome in the universe because I believe if the universe would expand into the the bubble of of how this whole world would work you know if compassion became like a primary law of of how we show up and how we demonstrate actions in everyday life and not only that but also how we engage with people that are not there yet to elevate them into their next level self and their next level self has to be vegan. <laughs> there is no way it's not. A next level version of everybody is inclusive veganism. So bringing someone 
elevating someone around you simply through you really healing your shit, looking at your traumas and unknotting these knots that have been holding these stories in your subconscious mind on repeat. Once you unlock that level you, once you unlock that level you, people cannot not listen. People cannot not feel what it feels like to be such a vibrant version of you. Like I'm feeling it as I'm talking right now. Like people cannot not understand how beautiful, how important, how real and how needed it is for them to go vegan. So my mission here is to bring you into a state, to bring you into a state where you can vibrate this energy outwards and inspire people simply by being Sometimes you don't even need to talk anymore. Sometimes people are like, oh my God, what do you do? Your energy is so great. Well, I do this, I do that, and this is how I eat. This is how I nourish my body. This is how I live compassion. Feels pretty damn good for the heart and for the body and for the mind. (laughs) You want to try it? Try it. Let me give you some resources. You know, these are conversations I want all of us vegans to have. I don't want us to fight about the facts and not facts anymore because everybody has their facts, you know? Who cares about fucking facts? I care about life. That's the only fact I care about. I care about that life gets to live to the extent it deserves to live. And souls get to be to the extent that they are here to be. And it's a fucked up belief to say cows are here to be, you know, milked and slaughtered. No, 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 honey, that's... Mm -mm. that's your trauma relationship to, I don't know, a movie you watched in childhood and now you're believing that shit. Your parents were butchers. That's generational trauma passed down to you. We are here to dissolve that. We're here to dissolve that. We're here to dissolve the generational patterns that have been copy and pasted for years and decades and maybe even centuries. This is our role as change makers to dissolve these generational patterns and to be set up and ready for it. It's not hard work, but it's deep work. And I need all of us to do it. By the way, if you like what I'm talking about and if you've been on the journey with me for a while already and you've never entered any of my group coaching containers, like, where are you at? (laughs) Yeah, the Beyond Depression program, um, the next round is starting in February. And there's an early bird discount that ends with this year ending, a $500 discount. Check it out if like growing beyond depression and other mental diseases is a topic that is like important to you and you really want to make these shifts in life, then this is your possibility. This is your gateway. As I said before, the program comes with a money back guarantee. So if at some point into the program, um, the first couple of weeks you're realizing, ah, It doesn't work for me. I don't trust this. I don't trust June. It doesn't feel like it's my path. You can quit the program. You'll get all your money back. No questions asked. Obviously, if I feel like you're avoiding a part of you that is coming up through being in this program, I'll voice it and I'll be like, are you really sure that you're not running away again from a next level? Sometimes it's scary to step into a next level. But if you're like, I'm sure I want to leave the program, I'm like, here you go, money back. Good luck, my love. Let's stay in touch outside of the program. But if the program works for you, then this money that you're investing, it's uh, $3,000 without the early bird discount. So with the early bird, it's 2.5. That money, you pay that once and you'll be set up not only for the rest of your life with the gateway, the tools, the practices to move beyond depression, but you'll also be set up with passing that down to the next generations and empowering the next generations, your children, your grandchildren with these tools. That's all I wished for when I was growing up. If my parents could have taught me just like a little fragment of what I'm teaching in this program, if I would have learned that as a kid, gosh, I would have grown up so differently. I would have been so much earlier in my power I might have created, you know, much, much more magic, much more money, much more abundance, much more positive influence in the world in my teenage years already. And I know it's possible. I see kids right now running big businesses that have a core of 
morals, ethics, veganism. And they are doing that because they've been empowered through practices and tools like we're learning in the Beyond Depression program. They've been learning that from childhood. And if that's not worth three grand for you, then my love, just rewatch this recording. That was a powerful live stream. I want to thank you all for watching. Um, share this in any groups or with friends that you feel like they need to also know this secret. And that's it. Sending you love. Bye.